All right, let's see how this works out. New setup. Uh, just want to quickly show my cars, and then we'll come back later in the game, and I'll show my cars and be like, "Behold my stuff." Um, you saw my BMW, and EA just bundled in all of those cars. I'm kind of annoyed because it's like, thanks EA for trivializing the gameplay loop, but I just won't use the cars, but fill, thanks for filling my garage with... I hate it when customization games do that. But anyway, here's the, uh, here's my Plymouth. We're going to be using the Plymouth today. I just bought it in the game, and I'll quickly show off a day cycle. Um, Oh, first of all, talking about my character, why is my character an Asian girl? I'm not an Asian girl, here's why. Everyone else looks like a melted Barbie doll. Wait, there we go. None of these people look real, especially him, this dude. Uh, these two guys look roughly about, you know, and the guy with the Hawaiian shirt looks terrible, so I just thought, oh, like, yeah, in fact, none of them look like me. I'm just gonna make a fantasy character who looks nothing like me, but kind of is basically dressing like me, but is Asian girl me <laughs> with like cooler hair, cause and like you know, oh, it doesn't matter. Drives a Plymouth, which I can't afford. So yeah, first, first things first, we're going to uh, have a look at the day cycle. Uh, it's a big open world map, you've got to find the stuff and do the races. It's very like Burnout Paradise kind of style, but it feels the need to force story in there. So we're going to go to do Sky Ace, uh, which is on the other side of town. No matter which safe house you finish in, it always loads you back to the central safe house, which is frustrating when you just want to make some quick changes and then get back out where you were in the map. You can see on my right there, there's racer challenges, it's just not little, little things, it's straight up fucking billboards, you can see one coming up right now. That's just Burnout Paradise all over. Um, you know, there's the usual big smash a few things. stations will pay your car. You can see on the bottom right there's like a spanner icon, that's your health bar for your car. It doesn't come into play unless a car hits you. I've straight up driven through a load of street furniture there and no damage. It's very weird. It really picks what it counts as damaging you. Which is... So, yeah, need for speed. Like it's trying to be everything. Uh, definitely it feels like it's trying to be literally everything it can be. So it's like the day cycle is just straight up drive races in and cops don't bother you in a kind of like go like need for speed I want to say shift kind of way or like kind of like grid but not really like grid it wishes it would grid had really great like But, so we're going to do the day cycle first, uh, we'll talk about night cycle when we hit that. Uh, you can choose if you go day or night. Yeah, during the day you get paid money, in the night you get paid and exposed. I'm not even fucking kidding. Um, you see there's some sick, insane stunt jumps there, but I haven't hit the rep level for me to be allowed to actually complete that long jump. I have to hit a certain exposure level before I can do certain in city tasks, otherwise I would have scored points for that. It's kind of slow on the unlock rate, but like whatever. It just means you have more stuff to do as you go through the game. So the Plymouth handles really nicely. My first car in the game, it lets you choose between a BMW, a Nissan 180SX, and a 65 Mustang. I got the BMW, and I enjoyed it. Uh, it handled a little strange for me, but I got the hang of it after a while. The Plum 
Plymouth feels very comfortable to drive, so I'm quite happy with it. And there's a lot of modification options in this game, so I feel like it will be really useful, is my prediction right now. For a long part of the game, they do that whole engine swap thing, which Forza kind of did for a while, which is basically you like this car, you want this car to keep being used in the game well past we've decided that it's useful. Well, fuck me, engine swap back. And um, that's like a lot of modification games way of saying, oh, you want this Renault Clio to outrun a Lamborghini Huracan, do you? That's never gonna, okay, I'm just, we'll say engine swap, carry on driving. <laughs> like if it shuts you up. Yeah, you can see uh, you're kind of outrunning a lot of the guys here because my like, car's performance is quite high. I bought this game on sale and it came bundled with like XP and bank modifiers, which means you're not grinding as much on these races. They give you ridiculous amounts of money and prep for you to do like races, which means that you can modify your cars much faster and it much more impressively, which means the cars tend to be like nine points higher than the competitors in the field. This is a 140 performance rating car. They they give them numbers like that, like points it does. And in one race off screen, I was doing one against 120 uh, performance cars. I was like a mile ahead of the second place guy, so yeah, it becomes very clear that you're just like massively overpowering uh, like two or three points above the competition, so long as you drive straight. Saying that though, handling in this game is a little weird. Like you see, I'm drifting a lot, that's just double tapping accelerate. Nah, that gives you a very simple drift, but you can handbrake turn as well, which gives you a little bit more of a wider drift. Honestly, braking standard brake drifts aren't particularly great in this game, so if you're looking for like, I want to do sick drifts, yeah, like Need for Speeds. Also, I felt like the steering is a little floaty and a little like, unresponsive. So, for, to ease this up, I'm fast traveling, but like the fact that they include a fast travel in a game that's supposed to be all about driving really tells you what they think of their target audience. And the fact that we have to keep looking at the uncanny valley dolls that they keep putting as hey, like Test Drive Unlimited all over again. One foot at a time. And they're always talking to each other as if they're your mate, and like, oh yeah, like socials, and it's just like, um. I don't play driving games for the people, I'm not gonna lie, so I just felt like, why why are we getting out of the car? <laughs> like, at any point. So yeah, like, I'm very indecisive with the bottom, the mid-left square here, where it's like, do you want this car to be on-road, off-road, drift, race? It's like, bitch, I don't know. I want it to go fast, and I don't want to hinder myself too much if I drive off by accident. Because some races straight up have an off-road element to them. And I'm like, well, I don't want to be fully on road in case this shit happens to me. <laughs> so, uh, and I don't really want to go full drift either, but then I'm complaining that the drift doesn't feel very good. So it's like, I'll experiment off screen. Like I said, this ain't going to be a full LP. It's pretty pedestrian to just sit here and watch me do a hundred races again and again and again and it's like a long fucking process for me to record so what I'm gonna do is just do another one much later after introducing the day night cycle of this and what I'm doing with this game so far and I'll off screen for like most of the game then when I get to near the end of the game I'll show off my garage again and go look I got some cool shit to behold my stuff kind of thing. So you can see the events change. I was supposed to be talking to that chick in the fucking bubble there. But I'm not gonna. This race is called Crossover and I didn't read the titles. One of them was called the Queen. I was like, 
Oh yeah, what's so gangster? The Pixar film. A lot of the edge out of Carbon uh, and Most Wanted was axed for this game, like they thought that like, a game about street racing should be as much as non-threatening as possible, and it's just like... Ah, oh, you missed the point. Take all of the hardcore shit out. You've taken all the destruction, Darby, flames, aesthetic, and burnout out as well. Oh, they killed Criterion for this. But like, nighttime, night cycle has got some most wanted elements up in the top center. You've got a heat gauge, and I'm being paid in rep, which is basically being paid in exposure. I race, they don't pay me, or well, they pay me like a couple of dollars to go. But now people think yo gangster, and it's like, well, no shit. I mean, when you're driving jacked up Honda Civics the whole time, like the guy in the... You, you scroll back to the day race, there's a guy in a Honda Civic with the stance so wide it looks like he's crippled the fucking car. Thinking like, well, of course I'm hood in comparison to these fucking losers. Also, you've all got like This guy's textures straight up aren't loading in. It just has this real big problem. I changed my video settings to better use my uh, TV and just certain EA texture. And EA games textures are different. Oh well. The game looks pretty, the cars look pretty, and that's what matters. The cars and the environment and the water on the road and the rain effects are really pretty. But like Test Drive Unlimited, they decide, look, you can have a human, and the human is like, she never changes her face, she never emotes, her lips vaguely move, but they're not synced properly to what she's saying. She kind of awkwardly stands. It's kind of like, I feel personally attacked, like, this is so me, just awkwardly standing by my car, like, yep. Yeah. A uh, one. As you can see, there's more traffic at night, and I was like, like, like why? And then I thought, oh, because I'm street racing now, so the idea is in the day cycle, they put barriers up in the road and just off, so there's less traffic and no traffic. But then it begs the question, why is there any traffic at all during the day race? You just get on the track and like, lol. I guess. But you're like, they all come out at night of the city. I 
this effect with the crash, you can tell it's very like interesting particle effects. If this was burnt out, my car would be dead to the shit, but because it's like a licensed car. These guys are turning around to try and catch me. Spread out, search for that vehicle. Just got caught. Doing because they're the ones that are But then eventually some of them catch up with me. I think it's during the week. Maybe they don't. I can't remember. Gonna do another race. This is the race with dirt sections, not the other race. And the AI doesn't like being on the dirt, as we will see soon. And I don't like being on the dirt because it's dark. And I don't know if it's supposed to be. Oh, look at this smack boy. Dude, it's not the early orcs anymore, you can't wear double sleeves. Some of them are blurred out because they just don't want to show you their textures. These guys have got underglow like it's fast and furious all over again. It's kind of embarrassing. Um, but it's fine, I mean, I'm the one driving a sky thing. Whatever. I don't know what to do to customize this car visually, so I just want to keep it like a pseudo stop. Impact you get is 
a solid building that the game says no. The night cycle, um, a lot of collector fun shit, the usual stuff, billboards, uh, picking up street art so you can put it in the car later, uh, stuff like that, you know, same stuff, jumps basically, uh, speed traps, the usual kind of shit, and like if you do them all you get like bonus mods. At night you can't fast travel because that would be too easy, you've got to get back to your safe house manual way to prove that you're outrunning the cops so that you can keep your rent going for me. I guess that will fuck the extra on the screen. But, you know, pretty good game. Good game. Good enough game. But definitely not, I'm definitely not going to follow up here. Just another night in Palm City. I got some money. Some rep. My heat multiplier was quite low because I didn't piss off the local cops, but yeah. Uh, at every rep level, you unlock a load of shit and it says, hey, now you can do this, and you're like, great. <laughs> so that jump I did at the beginning, I can go back and do it now and it actually counts. The part shop is offering you some upgrades. See what you think. So there's a lot of like. Yeah, I can get stuff now, so I'm probably gonna get the clutch. But I look at a load of stuff like the diffs, and I'm like, uh, it's moving the point around. I don't know if I want it to be on road, off road. Uh, I'm very indecisive, so I just kind of look at it and go, wow, look at all these diffs. Oh well, <laughs> and then just uh, buy the clutch instead. <laughs> because it just straight up makes the number go up, so it's a bit more... I understand that. Yeah, 